The Emoji Movie is one of the most famously despised films in recent years. With a premise that's beyond desperate and gimmicky, a trailer with far more dislikes than likes, and a Rotten Tomato score of 8 friggin' percent, this movie's hate levels have reached legendary status. Now usually I like whatever I review to have some sort of nostalgic tie-in. But with all the requests I've been getting to review this, I can't see the film not becoming a nostalgic landmark of heinousness. There's a lot to get to, so let's get right to it. Insert your emoji icon brutally stabbing the emoji movie here. Does that emoji not exist yet? It will. Let's take a look at currently one of the most hated films ever, the emoji movie. It starts off with the Columbia logo having its picture taken and given an emoji. I immediately hate all life. We're told how everybody is always on their phones, but seeing how this is a Sony movie with Sony products, they don't portray this as a bad thing. That's our user, Alex. You can call him Riley. It's not his name, but it's who he is. Tension spans get shorter and shorter, and you're probably not even listening to me right now. Who has the time to type out actual words? I mean, the writers clearly didn't type out actual words. I just assumed the entire script was this. We see the emojis are alive and live in a place called Textopolis. That's just a hint of how hard they're trying in this movie. Where we see our main character is named Meh, voiced by T.J. Miller. Meh, it turns out, is super happy, but his job slash personality assignment for life requires him to be unimpressed by anything. We have business to attend to. What kind of business? Monkey business. <laughs> <laughs> I'll admit I got a chuckle out of the emoticons being old and elderly. But don't worry, there's a whole bad movie of jokes to make up for it. Is that the time? Hey, my eyes are up here, pal. Oh, sorry, I was looking at your boobs. Clock? How do we even follow that? So he goes to talk to his father, played by Dammit Stephen Wright, why haven't you fired your agent yet? No, really, that's how he's billed now. I'm not letting you go to work today. What? You're just not ready, son. His dad said Meh isn't ready to go on the phone and be a meh face. And in keeping with the film's theme, the moment is immediately followed by crap. Should we wash our hands? <laughs> no, no, no. We're number two. That's Patrick Stewart playing shit, and his character's name is Poop. Just doing my duty. <laughs> what? Oh, sweet Jesus. Matt insists he's ready though, and he visits the original emoji, Smiler. Played by Dammit Maya Rudolph, why haven't you also fired your agent? By the way, if you're wondering, no, that's not how she bills herself now, but it is a picture of this character hanging herself. She says you just wait for the user to pick you, and then you get scanned into his conversation. And that scan will get sent right up to Alex's text box. Yes, Naughty scammed me twice last night. It was wonderful. I got a reply to Addy's text. What should I write? Nothing. Nothing? Words aren't cool. <laughs> That's like a film mocking a generation's idiocy while also adding to that generation's idiocy. Matt gets chosen though and panics, giving a different face. What is that emoji? Uh, just look around you. It's called the audience's goddamn reaction. <laughs> Seeing how apparently this has never happened in history, I guess, everything goes wrong and the scanner is destroyed. In fact, for a system and a civilization that doesn't need to exist, they really should have more safety precautions. In fact, if phones have souls living in them, does that mean that the machines they use also have souls living in them? Do the gears inside that toaster also have little toasters inside a town called Toastopolis? Is anyone who made this realizing how stupid this all was yet? So they think meh is a malfunction, which, yeah, honestly sounds right. As he talks to his friend Poop, and we discover a whole new emotional realm that really evolves his character. Nah, just kidding, that makes shit jokes. We all have accidents. You're so soft, Poop. Not too soft, I hope. I did this role for my grandkids who are not getting Christmas presents this year. Smiler says the only thing to do is to delete him, forcing antivirus bots to wipe him out. All right, good talk. Bots! <laughs> oh. I know a lot of people compare this to Inside Out, but it doesn't help that Smiler is literally joy, except with different hair and complete lack of joy. To quote John Lovitz from Rat Race, You should sue somebody. <laughs> Meh escapes, though, and comes across another unpopular emoji called High Five, played by James Corden, who thinks he's being hunted, too. You'll never find us down here. Welcome to the Loser Lounge, where the emojis who never get used hang out. I guess that can be funny, but you're missing the really unpopular ones, like pregnant wife drinking emoji, Ghostbuster reboot emoji, and breadstick emojis. Who the dick sauce needs breadstick emojis?! Just find a hacker and get reprogrammed. High Five tells him to find a hacker in the piracy app to get reprogrammed so that everything will go back to normal. But all I need is a hacker. Today's your lucky day, let's roll. High Five also realizes he can do that to become popular again. 
Kind of weird, he didn't originally think of that for himself, but they had to write this fast to start another Sony Cinematic Universe. Give him some credit, there was little toilet paper to write this on. They walk outside of Textopolis and enter the wallpaper in the phone. Again, could be a clever idea, but it just feels like more commercials for products and apps on Sony phones. WeChat. Candy Crush. Welcome to Just Dance. This is Spotify? Yep. It's especially tragic because there's a real good commentary on social media in this conversation. How does he know so many people? None of these people know him, but they like him. I'd rather just have a real friend. A real friend? How's that going to get you anywhere? What you need are fans. But again, it's kind of lost when you're in a film called The Emoji Movie. It's like slipping in fascism is bad in Triumph of the Will. Something's going to get lost. They make it to the piracy app, which is disguised as a dictionary app using a different skin. What could a teenage boy possibly want to hide from his parents? Uh, what's this film rated again? It could have been worse, John. A lot worse. While roaming through the drunken veggie tales, they come across a hacker named Jailbreak. Played by Dana Anna Ferris, why haven't you? Oh, goddamn, forget it. And yes, that is how she's built. The antivirus bots come in, though, and Jailbreak agrees to help Matt after she sees he can make many different emoji faces. They land in Candy Crush because, shit, we're not enough like other Disney animated films, are we? The game obviously thinks you're a candy. What are we gonna do? Stay very still. It's more likely the user's mom downloaded it, so it probably won't be played for a while. After a mere 20-minute absence, we finally see Not Riley again. As he tries to hit on the girl he likes, but Candy Crush keeps making sounds, so he calls customer service to get the phone fixed. I'd like to make an appointment. This phone is playing games with me. Is and me? yeah, that's all the insight we need on him for a while. It's amazing how much I know about this kid compared to Inside Out, like... He's a boy. They finally get him out of Candy Crush, and they realize they have to get to the cloud to reprogram him. After this... Um, strong feminist statement. You know, women are always coming up with stuff that men are taking credit for. You know what? Discuss? Matt's parents go looking for him while also being followed by the bots, so they distract them in the YouTube app. What are you doing now? They'll be in there for hours. Okay, these jokes are over five years old. Place your bets. Cat video or... Why even make another guess? You know, that's it. <laughs> Hey, what's this YouTube kids video with Elsa, the Joker, and Spider-Man? Oh, that's gonna change the film's rating. spot our heroes trying to get to the cloud through Dropbox by going through the Just Dance app. Not entirely sure how that path works on my phone either. As it looks like they have to dance or, um, death. What does she mean by out? Digital death. Just Dance got a lot darker in recent years. But Jailbreak can't dance, so Mass shows her how. Oh, well, he knows how to dance. Clearly this is relationship material. Why does a hand have a butt? Why is that my biggest question? But more importantly, why does a hand have a butt? Wait a minute. I've never seen that dance before. What's it called? I do not recall this Q&A portion of the game. The emoji pop? Everybody, do the emoji pop! I'd rather do the Macarena with the Mario than the emoji pop. Well, on fire. But Jailbreak reveals she's really a princess emoji, the one said to have gotten off the phone, although she clearly didn't. You're the princess emoji? You never got off the phone. Now we don't know that. Maybe she's just one of the minions playing dress up. Everything else from this movie is stolen. Well, it's been about 12 minutes. Guess we can check in on Not Riley again. God, he plays such a big part. He deletes the dance app because it's making noise, resulting in High Five getting trashed. Man wants to go save him, leading to, again, a legit good line. I'm not just gonna leave him to get deleted. You gotta look out for number one. Well, what good is it to be number one if there aren't any other numbers? Don't try to be an actual movie now. That boat sailed with the monkey business joke. So they go through Spotify, where they sail along the sound waves, and Jailbreak discusses why she wants to get to the cloud. 
Did you realize that on the first emoji set, a woman can either be a princess or a bride? That's why I need to get to the cloud, where you can be whoever you want to be. Okay, first, it looks like there's a lot of female emojis there, so clearly that's changed. Second, didn't they say that Smiler was the original emoji? Does she not count in those two choices? Third, princess is really not a personality. This is very different from this. But whatever, maybe she just doesn't like the idea of emojis. Whatever the reason is, she wants to go to the cloud. So they go into the trash to save High Five, leaving all the other trash characters to die a slow and horrible death. Normally I'd be upset at that with a movie, but honestly, I'm more frustrated with how many characters don't die. In a particularly odd scene, and that's saying a lot for this film, Matt's parents look through Not Riley's pictures with his folks and have, I guess, a tender moment? I say I guess because I honestly have no idea if this is supposed to be heartwarming or funny. Right now, I'm so overwhelmed with passionate feelings for you. Yeah, my love for you burns with the intensity of a red hot flame. Aww. We'll always have Paris, Mary. So they make it to the Dropbox and ride their way to the firewall. They try different passwords they think not Riley would have, using Mez's different expressions, but they all fail. We've tried all the important things in Alex's life. His favorite pet, sport, his favorite grandma. If only this movie gave him a personality. Like finding out that he has a favorite grandma? That's the most I know about him! But High Five saw an email in the trash to a girl he liked but never talks to, and I guess it turns out that's the password. I guess that's romantic, having the password be a person you never talk to. If you're a stalker... Hey, is a creepy-ass clock already? They make it to the cloud, though, and Matt admits he wants to stay with Jailbreak. She turns him down, though, because... Uh, movies? I like you just the way you are, but I had a plan. I'm not just some princess, Jean. Waiting for my prince. Oh, that old excuse of I have a plan and we suck at writing emotional conflict. Timeless tale. Matt leaves, but gets captured by one of the bots, and Jailbreak decides to go back and save him. And let's go get him. I suddenly want to write in all caps and hate everything! Matt is brought back to be deleted, but his parents come in to speak up for him. I am the same malfunction Gene does. <sighs> it doesn't affect my voice because, you know, I got a shtick. Jailbreak and High Five crash in, but it looks like it's too late as the user is deleting the phone to fix it. However, the girl he likes is there, and it looks like... <sighs> How do I even explain this? They can only send an emoji to her, and since Mez the only one that can do a bunch of different emojis, it's decided he should go. Because, you know, sometimes a Sony phone and an emoji can get you the love of your life. Yep, that's what we're doing. That's... that's one super cool emoji. A lot of feelings in one. I get it. I like that you're one of those guys who can actually express his feelings. You know, through the most unemotional, laziest way possible. He pushed a button! He didn't even do that! He stops the phone from being deleted because... He found love? And all of Texopolis is put back. High Five is so emotional, he doesn't even match his voice to his lip movements. They love us! And High Five! 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 And high five. They love both of us! So there was really a jackass who said we should ADR him more dialogue? They have a big dance party because I think it's law now, every animated film should end with one. And the emojis are used once again to replace all human emotion. A fair analysis for this goddamn movie as a whole. Sometimes my life is like an ocean. And that is one of the most hated films to come out of recent years. And believe it or not, I might have an unpopular opinion. Oh, I still hated it, but I think it's just run of the mill bad. I've seen much, 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 much worse in all my years reviewing. This film does have a touch of creativity, at least two inventive lines, and enough of a visual eye to be colorful and somewhat imaginative. I've seen films that have none of those qualities, but I'd be lying if I said I didn't understand why this pissed people off so much. The corporate advertising is not at all hidden, which wouldn't be too bad if they could utilize it in a clever way like the Lego movie did. Work it into the storytelling. Like, why couldn't we find out more about the kid through the phone? Maybe looking through his history of pictures and texts, we could see his flaws, and maybe the flaws tie into the problems the emojis are going through? But if we did that, we wouldn't have our bullshit resolution where a Sony product saves the day. 
it is bad. And it's important to remember why it's bad so other films trying to do commercial tie-ins, because let's be honest, there's gonna be plenty of those in the future, can at least work it into their story better. So yeah, I can't even say it's one of the worst films I've ever seen. Take that for what it's worth. I guess as an advertising tie-in it is uniquely bad, but as a bad movie among a sea of bad movies, all I can give it is an honest and simple meh. I'm a nostalgia critic and I deserve to be challenged by a more creatively bad movie. Scooby Dooby Doo! There's the third one? Words aren't cool. Hey, Doug Walker here doing the charity shout out, and this week we are doing Children Incorporated. This is an international nonprofit organization that helps provide support to children primarily through child sponsorship and partnering with nearly 300 projects in 23 countries around the world. They believe that all children deserve access to basic needs and an education, so that they may be healthy and have the opportunity to become contributing members of their communities. Thanks to past and current supporters around the globe, they serve over 20,000 children annually. To date, over 300,000 children have been provided opportunities for growth and education and have experienced the support and encouragement their program provides. If you look at their site and their YouTube channel, you can see all the various ways they help and encourage children to be everything they can possibly be. There's so much love and dedication that's spread throughout this organization, and you can play a big part in that. Click on the link and see how you can help a child achieve his or her full potential.